Press here, hanging out on my uh, kid's playground. Uh, today is Monday, April 6th, 2020. Our weather today is mostly sunny with a high in the upper 60s and then partly cloudy at night with a low of 51 degrees. It's a great day to be outside getting that 60 minutes of exercise. Unfortunately, there are no birthdays today on this Monday. Uh, one thing I wanted to share with everybody though is uh, we all know about Jump Rope for Heart, uh, all that jump roping we did uh, during the month of February. Uh, I just got our totals in from all the fundraising that we did and as an entire school we came up with a grand total of $5,614.40. All of that money went on to the American Heart Association and helped um, those people that are struggling with things like heart disease, and uh, problems with their heart. So great job, Bearsville. Hi, Bearsville. This is Mrs. Landsman. This is my dog, Birdie. And we're here to talk to you about the core value. Thank you. Thank you is one of the best phrases we can say. Saying thank you is an expression of humility and understanding. When we say thank you, we put our others first by acknowledging when they've helped us. So you could tell your mom or dad, thank you for getting you breakfast in the morning. Thank you for helping you with your schoolwork. I could say thank you to my dog for keeping me company. Hey guys, it's me, Sam, your humble friend. Sometimes, do you feel like you just deserve a break? Listen, I got up at the crack of dawn and helped my mom in her garden. Then I came home and cleaned my house from top to bottom. And while I was doing that, my dog got into the pantry and ate an entire box of granola bars. I mean, it, it was a huge mess. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a little chilling out in me time. Ho hold on guys, my, my phone is going. Oh, what? <sighs> guys. This is, it looks like my friend hurt her wrist and she needs someone to take her to the doctor to get checked out. There goes my chill time. But you know what? She's my friend and she needs me. So I gotta go help her. I wanna go help her. And, and, and you, you know, you can do the same thing. Maybe it's listening to your sister tell a really long story without getting annoyed. Or letting your friend choose the movie when he comes over to spend the night, even though it's your house. You know what that's called? It's called humility. Humility is setting aside the things that you think you deserve or have earned in order to put someone else first. It's not easy, but helping others instead of only thinking of yourself can actually feel really good. That's why we are taking time this month to talk about humility. Humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Yep, giving up what you think you deserve. Now let's all say it together one more time because this, again, is a big one. Humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Now I better go pick up my friend because she needs me. See you guys in a few weeks. For our fun fact today, in the year 1896 in Athens, Greece, the first modern Olympics began with only eight nations taking part in those Olympics. After viewing the announcements today, we would like you as a family to respond to this question of the day. You can talk about it as a family or you can write your answers in the comment section after watching this morning's announcement. The question of the day is, would you rather always have to enter rooms by announcing your name or would you rather leave by doing cartwheels?